Good morning, sixth grade. It's Thursday, April 29th. And let's begin in prayer. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Holy Spirit, come into my heart, draw it to you by your power and grant me charity with filial fear. Preserve me, O beautiful love, from every evil thought. Warm me, inflame me with your dear love and every pain will seem light to me. My Father, my sweet Lord, help me in all my actions. Jesus love, Jesus love. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, we're not going to have a warm up today. Um, we're going to move straight into the lesson because we have a lot. We have a lot to do today. So I'm going to try and keep the video short. We are just going to solve a few more problems calculating the areas of compound shapes. Today, though, your assignment is going to involve triangles, um, rectangles, trapezoids, and circles. So you are going to want to have the formulas for those areas handy, the formula that you use to calculate the area of those different shapes handy, because you'll need it to solve some of the problems in your homework assignment. So let me get my whiteboard up and let's solve a couple of example problems. All right, so we are finding the area of complex shapes or compound shape is, is another way you'll see this. So let's look at this shape that I have here. When I break this down, again, to figure out my game plan, how do I figure out the area of the shape? I need to break it down into simpler shapes. So I'm going to look at this as a triangle plus a rectangle, okay? And so when I solve this problem, actually, I need to give you more information. Oh, no, I don't, we've got it. Um, when I solve this problem, I'm going to say that the total area is equal to the area of the triangle plus the area of the rectangle. Okay, so let's calculate those two areas. I'm gonna sit, do the triangle as blue and I'm gonna do the rectangle as red. Okay, so the rectangle is this here. What's the What are the dimensions of that rectangle? Well, it's 10 inches by 12 inches. So the rectangle is 10 times 12 or 120 square inches. Okay. Now let's look at the triangle. Well, we know the formula for a triangle. The area of a triangle is one half base times height. So I need to figure out those two dimensions of the triangle because I want to find this area here. Well, the base, so the triangle is going to be 1 half times the base, which is 12. Okay, that's this distance here, times the height. What's the height? Well, I have to figure that out. And I can do that because I know that this total length, I'm going to look at the green, this total length here is 15, right? And this length here is 10. So to get to here is 10, so that means that this distance here has to be 5, okay, because 10 plus 5 would give me the whole thing, which is 15, all right? So the height of my triangle is 5, and then I just solve the, the area problem of the triangle. So the triangle is 1 half times 12, which is 6, times 5, which is 30. Oops, and I keep forgetting my squares. There we go, 30 inches squared. And so the total area is going to be 30 plus 120, which is 150 square inches. Okay, so this was a problem that had a triangle and a rectangle in it. Okay, uh, let's look at another one. Let's do this one. Let's do, this is kind of a funny looking shape. And I got a circle in the middle that's taken out. And I want to find this area, okay? The total area there. So I need, to, let's give you some dimensions. Um, the radius of the circle is two inches. This distance here is 10 inches. This distance here is eight inches. And this distance here is four inches. Okay, I think that's all we need to be able to solve this. We have to break down our picture though. We have several shapes here. 
here's what I'm going to do. My game plan is going to be to find the area of this rectangle. Okay, so I'm going to find the area of the rectangle plus the area of the triangle. Okay, plus the area of the triangle minus the area of the circle. Okay, because I have to take that out, right? I don't want that. So if I find the area of the rectangle, the area of the triangle, and then subtract out the area of the circle, that will give me the total area. That's my game plan. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So the rectangle is 10 inches by 8 inches, which is 80 square inches. And the area of the triangle is going to be one half base times height. Well, the base of the triangle is eight inches and the height of the triangle is four inches. Okay, so one half times eight is four times four is 16. So this is 16 square inches minus the area of the circle. Hmm, the area of the circle. Well, I know the area of a circle is pi r squared. And so the area of the circle is going to be 3.14 times the radius, which is 2 squared. That one I need to do on my calculator. So I'm going to do 2 times 2 is 4 times 3.14 is 12.56 square inches. And then I'm going to finish off my problem. So I need to add 80 inches plus 16 inches minus 12.56 inches gives me a total area of 83.44 square inches. Okay, that was a kind of cool problem because I had to do some addition and some subtraction. All right, let's do one more problem. Let's do this one. This is kind of a funny, this looks like, to me, it looks like an ice cream cone. It's got ice cream on top, right? So this distance here is 12 inches and this distance here is eight inches. And I want to find the total area of that shape. Okay, what are my shapes? Well, I have a triangle, right? I'm gonna do that in blue, right? So I could find, the area of the triangle, so my total area is going to be the area of the triangle plus this shape here, the top of the ice cream cone. What is that? Is it a circle? It's actually half of a circle, right? It's not a whole circle, it's half of a circle. Well, how do I find the area of half of a circle? How about I just find the area of the whole circle and I divide it by two? That's what we're going to do. So this I'm going to say is the area of a half circle or a semicircle would be the official term, but we'll say a half circle. And I'm going to write at the top here that that means pi r squared, but I want half of it. So I'm going to multiply it by half. Okay, that's how I'm going to find the area of that semicircle or half circle. So let's find our area. So the area of a triangle is one half times the base of the triangle, which is this here, which is eight inches, times the height of the triangle, which is 12 inches. So one half times eight is four times 12 is 48 square inches. Okay, plus now I've got to find the area of that half circle. So I know I'm doing one half times pi times r squared. Well, what's r? Look at the picture. I don't have r, but I have the distance across. I have that total distance. Like if I have a whole circle, right, and I go all the way across, well, I'm, that's eight inches, right? What is that? That's the diameter. So the diameter is eight inches. And we know that if the diameter is eight inches, that means that the radius is four inches. Sometimes you have to think about the picture and even though it doesn't look like they gave us a radius, they actually did, right? So then I do four 
squared. So let's do that. Let's do, I've got four times four, which is 16 times 3.14. And then I need to divide it by two. And I got 25.12 square inches. So my total area is gonna be those two numbers added together. So 25.12 plus 48 is 73.12 square inches. All right. Okay, so there's a few example problems of some complex shapes that involve not just rectangles today. We're gonna to have some triangles and some circles and sometimes even a semicircle, right? Okay, so you actually have quite a bit of work to do today. Um, your assignment, it's called cage math. Um, it's basically this zoo that is trying to figure out, calculate the areas of different cages for its animals. And so you have to calculate the areas of the different, um, the different exhibits is what they call them. So um, the first page, you're just calculating the area of a triangle, the area of a trapezoid and the area of a rectangle, I believe. Oh, uh, no, a half circle, semicircle. So you're going to do a triangle, a trapezoid, and a half circle. You're going to calculate those areas, and then you have to figure out which of the three animals will fit best in that particular exhibit, okay? That's all you're doing on that page. The second page of the assignment is the complex figures. It's the same idea. You're going to calculate the complex areas, and there are four of them and then you pick which animal will fit best into that exhibit they tell you how much space each of the animals needs and so you're going to want to match up the animal that needs the closest amount of space to what you calculate okay the third page is a couple where you get to design your own and so what i want you to do is pick a couple complex shapes you can do rectangles you can do triangles you can do circles you can do whatever you want you can do trapezoids um, put those shapes together to make a unique exhibit that will fit each of the two animals. I believe there's two on that page, okay? So that's your homework assignment. I'm not gonna mark this late um, until Monday. So if you need a few extra days to get that done, that's totally fine, because I know this is a lot of work I'm, I'm giving you today. Um, you do also have a quiz this week, and this is very important. You really need to take this quiz. It only has three questions on it. One about circumference, one about area of a circle, and one complex figure, okay? So once you're feeling confident with those three skills, go ahead and take the quiz. I would really like the quiz taken before the end of the week, all right? Um, the homework assignment, again, if you need to spend some time this weekend on that, that's okay. It shouldn't be too, it, this shouldn't take too long, but I know it's a little bit more than I typically give you um, on a Thursday. All right, be sure and check in with your tutor if you have any questions um, or reach out to me. We're here to help you. And then once you get all this done, you wonder, have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you next week. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end, amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen.